Are you having side effects from B12? Maybe you have like heart palpitations or some kind of digestive issue after you take your B12 or B vitamins. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at what some of the common side effects are from taking B12, how common is it really, and some of the reasons for those side effects. So if this is something that interests you and you want to see more videos like this, click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. Thank you for watching. Let's look at B12 side effects. B12 side effects are not very common. However, they do occur and a good segment of the population do report them. However, most of the time it's not from a true B12 side effect. Think about it, B12 is an essential part of our natural biochemistry. So to have a side effect to that is sort of contradictory to how your biochemistry naturally works. Now that doesn't mean you can't be sensitive to something in the B complex that you took or, the, or even B12 itself. And we're going to talk about that. But because it's an essential part of how your biochemistry works, it's not very common that it is actually B12 itself that causes these side effects or reactions. More common, it is something that's in with the B12 that you took, whether it's an injection or oral form. Before we get into the common reasons for these side effects or triggers from B12, let's talk about and look at what some of the symptoms or side effect reactions, etc., that people have from taking B12. Nausea, bloating, upset stomach, and various digestive symptoms are one of the more commonly reported side effects from taking B12. In these cases, most of the time they are taking more of a B complex that they actually swallow and it has other B vitamins in there. B vitamins do feed bacteria, so if you get digestive symptoms after taking B12, oftentimes there's some kind of bacterial, possibly fungal issue going on that's creating that nausea bloating, other digestive symptoms. So anytime patients tell me they have a reaction from taking B vitamins and that reaction is nausea or some kind of digestive symptom, I automatically think that they might have some sort of bacterial issue. It's not always the case, but it does make me think that. If that's the issue with you, taking your B vitamins or B12 in the form of injection, we wouldn't expect it to produce the same effect. Now, another common side effect or issue that people report from taking B12 and or B vitamins in general is anxiety, heart palpitations, difficulty with sleeping, things like that. B12 definitely can do this, but it's also more common for other B vitamins to do this. So if you get a B12 injection and it stings, that means it's not just B12, there's other B vitamins in there with it. So you wanna differentiate which one of them is causing the issue. Maybe you wanna get just B12 and see how you react, or you know, if you are getting these palpitations from just B12, it could be from that as well. If you're sure that you're just taking plain B12, whether you're swallowing it or getting injection and you're getting these, this anxiety or heart palpitations and things like that from it, consider taking a much smaller dose of it, like a micro dose. The smallest amount you can think would, you know, never cause a reaction. You start with that, gradually work your way up once you find the dose that's not creating these problems. Over time, your body may adjust to it and you won't have such a strong reaction. Sometimes that happens when you're really, really deficient. Your body will get very stimulated from the B12. Sometimes the same bacterial issue that causes digestive issues from swallowing the B12 can also cause these heart palpitations, anxiety, etc. The same issue wouldn't be expected though when you take an injection. So if you have both the digestive issues and the anxiety and palpitations when you swallow it, we wouldn't expect the same thing when you take an injection. So you also want to look at what's in the B vitamins too. Sometimes people think they're just taking a plain B vitamin B complex and there's other things in there like probiotics or prebiotics that could be causing these reactions or other herbs and things like that. So make sure you check the ingredients and then other ingredients too just to make sure you're not sensitive to one of those things. When you take B12 in isolation as a tablet, sublingual tablet or chewable form, it's usually in there with sugar alcohols like xylitol, et cetera, that make it like sweet. Those things can definitely cause digestive issues as well. If switching the route of administration and dosage don't help, you may also have like a substrate issue. B12 is used to recycle homocysteine and homocysteine comes from amino acid, cysteine and methionine. So if, you're, if your levels of cysteine and methionine are low, the B12 kind of has nothing to do once you intake it and that's called methyl trapping. So you can check your fasting homocysteine to see if your homocysteine levels are low. That may indicate kind of a bigger problem going on or just simply a protein deficiency. If you check your homocysteine and it's low, that suggests a protein deficiency. Not necessarily, but it could be a protein deficiency. 
However, people with low homocysteine, most of the time they don't have these negative reactions to taking B12, whether it's an injection or oral, but it could be part of the problem in your situation. Now, in terms of the injections, the type of injection you're getting actually does matter. So if you're getting a cyanocobalamin, that's more likely to cause negative reactions. The cobalamin molecule is bound to different functional groups, and if your functional group is cyanide, that's called cyanocobalamin. And while it is a very small amount of cyanide that you're getting, you are getting cyanide, and that's poisonous to our mitochondria and cells and tissues. So you really don't wanna be taking that one. Not everyone's gonna have a reaction, a negative reaction to that. In fact, most people don't, but if that's what you're getting, then I would suspect that as potentially the problem as well. You can easily get another form called hydroxy, and even in some cases you can get the methylcobalamin. It does have to be compounded, but it is available in most areas. All right, that'll do it for B12 side effects. If you do have questions about any of the content, maybe some of the side effects that you're having weren't listed, I would be interested and drop it in the comment section below, and maybe we can address those other side effects in a separate video, or I'll just answer your question if you have them. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.